don't know why Eileen won't go to the police. She needs protecting. You need protecting. No, I don't. Anyway, maybe this Mick guy's not all that. I mean, legged it fast enough, didn't he? He had a gun, Gary. You need to report it. No, no. Why not? Because I made Eileen a promise, all right? How can we drop it? Has Ray been on your case again? What about getting you to Sam? Mm. I've been trying to avoid him. Take it you've not had second thoughts about his offer then. I don't even know if this development's legit yet. Whatever it is, though, it's big. Is that bad? Well, if he's behind it, yeah. Look, I'm sorry, all right? I know you had your heart set on the barbers, but I'll find the money somehow, yeah? It's all right. Don't worry about it. If he's dodgy, then we need to stay clear with him anyway. See you later. Love you, bye. Right, whoever did this, they need find it. I can deal with it myself, Craig, all right? No, you won't, Gary. Look, I know you're trying to protect Eileen, but it's gone way beyond all that now. Hang on. What has Eileen got to do with all of this? Tell him, or else I will. <sighs> Mate, I'm... And this guy was called Mick, yeah? Yeah. The other one? I don't know, he did most of his talking with the steel bar. Right, so... How does Eileen fit into all of this? Come on, tell him about last night. He needs to know. Know what? Gary, what if he turns up again at the flat while Liam's there? He turned up at Eileen's looking for Todd. Todd was there. Hang on. Todd's back. Because she thought he was dead. <laughs> yeah, well, he nearly was. Where is he now? You tell me he's gone again. Craig, there's something else you need to know. This Mick had a gun. What? And you didn't think to come and tell me this earlier? Why didn't Eileen report it? I'll trust girl, won't you? Well, why didn't you report it? Because she was scared that if the police get involved, this guy will come back looking for Todd, all right? She don't want him getting hurt. <laughs> but she was perfectly fine with you getting hurt. <sighs> she said that. And you believed her. All right, well, thanks for nothing, Craig, yeah? Craig? Craig? Eileen's saying that she never heard of a Mick. What? Todd was never there either. Are you kidding me? Yeah, apparently it's all in my head. Why would she say that? Well, why do you think? She's protecting Todd. You know, if I hadn't turned up when I did, he'd be dead by now. And what if this Mick fella comes back? It's not going to happen. How do you know that? Because this time, babe, I'm not going to wait for him to come to me. Gary? <sighs> Where are you going? You need to go to hospital! So, uh, how much time are we talking? If you... Oh, God, are you OK? I jumped by a couple of metres, didn't I? Past catching up with you, is it? What does that mean? Well, I'm just saying, you know, what goes around comes around. Uh, the people who did this, uh, they weren't in a white van, were they? Uh, yeah, they were, yeah. Why did you see them? Well, they nearly ran me over. Managed to get a picture of them, though, as they drove up. So did you get the reg number, then? Oh, um, well, we tried, but it was blurry. What? Yeah, I meant to say I accidentally deleted it, Mum. But you must have got a good look at them, though. Oh, it just happened so fast. Of course you don't want to get involved. Presumably you went to the police, though. Well, no, funnily enough, Gail, no-one wants to come forward to give a statement. Well, that's hardly a surprise, is it, with the things he's been involved with? In other words, I had it coming. That's what you're all thinking, right? I haven't got the guts to say it to my face. He saves your life and this is how you thank him. 